Today in the news, we got rumors in 3D and in 4090. What's up guys, I'm Snells, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. A couple of weeks ago, when the uh, company finally unveiled their Zen 4 architecture during Computex 2022, Dr. Lisa Su was very specific in her choice of words when it came to the current platform of their CPUs. I'm talking, of course, about AM4. Now, AM4 lived a really long life. I mean, I bought my 1700X with a B350 motherboard back in 2017, and I could technically upgrade to the latest and greatest CPU without any issues five years later. Seriously, according to the compatibility list of my motherboard, I can get a 5950X or even a 5800X 3D on this board, so I'm golden. But now that the focus is switching to Zen 4 and to AM5, what will happen to AM4? Well, Dr. Lisa Su was very clear. She said, AM4 isn't going anywhere and will continue to serve the PC gaming segment for the foreseeable future. And right after she said that, we started hearing rumors after rumors of what this meant. Well, just recently, leaker extraordinaire Greymon55 tweeted this. It's been rumored in the last few days that there will be several new products for Zen 3D. It's true, and there will be further information next month. He also added, there will also be new low-end AM4 products in the future. Honestly, there are no reasons why AMD wouldn't release newer versions of Zen 3D. We know that they have tested the 5900X with 3D vCache since, well, they showed it to us back in 2021. It still had a great performance boost in gaming, and you could get the benefit of those 12 cores with a 5900X 3D. Plus, with Threadripper gone for gaming slash creators, a 5950X 3D would give us a Threadripper-like CPU. Side note, for those of you who said that Threadripper was never a gaming CPU, well, it was at the start. I mean, they even had a game mode up until the 2950X. When they released the 1950X, they had a whole slide about gaming specifically. But yeah, anyways, to give longevity to the AM4 platform, 3D vCache is the way to go. And on the other end of the spectrum, a 5600X 3D could be a good chip. Although I wonder if the extra cache would really give this one as much of a bump in performance as with the 5800X 3D. As for the new low-end AM4 products, I think that AMD already tipped us off on that. They gave us a taste of it with their slew of releases a couple of months ago with some new 4000 and 5000 series chips. There's also rumors of a generation of Zen 4 CPUs going into the AM4 socket because apparently the memory controller still supports DDR4 and in the labs it has been done, but I think that this is just wishful thinking. So what are your thoughts on this? Personally, I'm gonna keep my B350 board. If a 5900X 3D comes up, it might be the perfect upgrade for me. I just hope that this isn't an excuse for AMD to release those new X3D chips at the same price as the older non-3D chips, and then use that as an excuse to increase the price of Ryzen 7000 chips based on the Zen 4 architecture. Actually, that makes a lot of sense, crap. Moving on, we got some NVIDIA updates from the main man, copite 7 kimmy While he has been posting updates after updates on the uh, main specs of the next generation of GPUs, so things like the CUDA core count, the memory config, etc., etc., one thing that he's never really touched on was the uh, clock speed of these chips. Well, today we got just that. He reposted most of the specs of the 4070, 4080, and 4090, but added the current clocks on the 4090. According to his sources, we're looking at 20 2235 megahertz base clock and a 2520 megahertz boost clock. Just to put this into perspective, the RTX 3090 had a base clock of 1400 megahertz with a boost of 1700. So the new chips have 50 to 60% faster clock speeds. Now, obviously, with the RTX 3090, under optimal conditions, we can see clock speeds boost all the way up to around 1900 to 2000 megahertz. But that's still a heck of a lot lower than the rumored clocks on the 4090. And that's not all. He also says that the max clocks could go all the way up to 2750 megahertz. With those new numbers in mind, the RTX 4090 could reach a little over 90 teraflops of compute performance. That's crazy. 
Hopefully, now that the mining craze has subsided, we'll actually be able to see these new chips on store shelves. I'm talking 4070, 4080, or 4090. And I say hopefully because according to Digitimes, Nvidia is trying to cut down their chip orders with TSMC because of, well, the whole crypto collapse. Apparently though, TSMC won't budge, and hey, if Nvidia is forced to make those chips, maybe the prices won't be insane. I mean, supply and demand, am I right? Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I know that the light has uh, turned off. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.